All right. Um. Yeah, I don't have that much to say here. Here on Black Mesa. Um. On Steam, I can see there's our boy Gordon right there. Um, here we go. <laughs> Don't really have much to say. <sighs> see what this game's got in store for us. Yep, we're off that bench we saw. There's a side-by-side -side sway, which I'm aware of. Of course, automatically, everything looks head and shoulders above. Not a surprise to be expected. Good morning and welcome. This isn't as ridiculously loud. I appreciate that. He waves at us as we pass. This provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. There's Barney. The time is... He looks, I think, more like Barney now, which Current makes sense. temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. Yep, bunch of people now with doors and such, so that it makes sense how they got in there. Okay. Tram maintenance. Do not... Do not leave unattended. <laughs> I say quite the loading screen. Event of fire, use hammer to break glass. It's an emer in an emergency, use all windows as emergency exits. This train is Door release. Inbound. From Level 3 dormitories. Inbound times, Two. team acquires new grant, or acquires new grant. And control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security there's a scientist, train. there's a missile there. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Alright. Nice view of outside. Before we get dropped down. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking eating or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Yeah, that makes sense. A lot of radioactive stuff here at Black Mesa. Quick save is the same. Always appreciate that. Oh, this becomes the front now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this frame rate is not the best, but, you know, I'm gonna say there's no way to at least have my frames visible, is there? Hmm. We go back one. We can go back one. Go back one. Just an attempt to make, you know, a bit better performance wise. Manual save. I, I can't see my mouse at all. Like, it's just not appearing. Black Mesa just crashed. <laughs> uh, what we take for granted. <laughs> well. Game has crashed. I'm back in it now, yeah. Well, hey, 
at least it's not hard to get back. <sighs> Surely it wouldn't be. Really? Is this one good? Yes, this one is good. I can't tell. I think it's less framey than before. I don't know. That cactus did not look natural at all. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instructions. Oh, we swap here. It is necessary to exit the train. Disabled oh, automatically. Evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency. Yeah, the helicopter doesn't say U.S. military on it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it did in the original. Appreciate the kind of dip that happened when we switched to up and the kind of shake that happened when we switched back to down. Those are literally Half-Life 2 assets. I know those. Those are from Episode 2. Switch again. A little bit of a shake. Health and HEV thing behind him. First got security. Hello. Yep. Good day to you too, sir. Oh, am I stuck? Or is he have to let me go? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, so we're going to have to hit that green button when the guy lets us out. A reminder that the yep. Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Secure broadcast. That is true. Especially in my case. No giant radiation spill in Black Mesa that we go by with the loader. Or maybe there is, we just haven't seen it yet. I feel like this intro is longer than base, but I can't remember. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling. Administrative sponsor classified. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate discretionary, yep, I remember that. Theoretical physics, biotechnology, the loader, or other high tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility. Opportunity employer. Yeah, I think I'll wait to judge frame rate and like what graphic settings I should use. I'll wait until I actually get out of this. You know, I'll be judging everything before it matters because it's not like I'm going to be in a tram all game. Thoughts so far? Seems professional. I mean, you know. Oh, there is the spell. Alright.
That yeah, was close. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. How's it gonna turn? There we go. The way that makes sense. Oh, that guy. Oh, yikes. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Special thanks. Valve software. Yep, bottom left. Wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you. I mean, there's the box there, the thing that's not to be left day. unattended. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. I mean, not the greatest animation, but you know, whatever. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. I guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. <laughs> Did Gordon used to have a ponytail? That does sound kind of familiar, but I don't know why. Obviously, it did not look like this. Hey, it was Mr. like Freeman, over there and flat. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. Yep. I remember that. That was in the beginning of Blue Shift, I remember as well. Too, but I think that's all straightened out. I don't think they said that originally. They added that in from Blue Shift. Because, yes, in Blue Shift, there's like a whole... Yep. You told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Yep. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Jay, Reddick, Network Team. Please call 470. There was a coolant leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. Morning, champ. Hello. Shouldn't she be Magnuson? Because he mentioned Magnuson. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Because uh, that was... um. That was you know who's lunch. Oh, so it was Magnuson's. He's just not here right now. <sighs> Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Uh, they changed them for the developers of this game. Makes sense. But there's no more Coomer, unfortunately. Ugh, rat. No toilet paper. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Not the best voice acting, but neither was the original. I mean, like... <laughs> certainly not the original. <laughs> they cut the sounds. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system. For use in hazardous environment conditions, I impact reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical 
Ah, he's, he's not quite six feet. Presumably baby picture. What is this? I have no idea. Color polish, what, for shoes or something? Okay, well, I mean, I'll put it back. Not that I'll be back here, you know, but... I was going to say when the place gets nuked, but that's probably ah, not canon. I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Now I can sprint now. I'm too fast. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Yep, same lines as original. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. What up? What was the... What's the other place in the remake, then? Because don't you go over here in the original? Shouldn't G-Man be in there? You lost, Ace? Yeah, this is still the wrong airlock. Oh. Okay. So they changed it. No G-Man. Alright, so I guess we're over there now. I think we have infinite sprint, which is very nice. <laughs> Added more stuff here. Made these posters readable. Worldwide leader. Fluid dynamics. Sciencing going on back there. <laughs> Innovative our tram system's really cool. Quantum physics. Materials research. Like Mesa, 2,000 square miles. 1,500 people from only five countries and four states. That is not very broad. Oh. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Sure, nothing explodes. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure these superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto optic modulators are on the fritz again. <laughs> I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. <sighs> You got something to say about this? Just a minute, Gordon. What's up, Doc? Dr. Freeman? Doctor? Ah, Gordon! There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. The Magnuson, this Kleiner. We the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Yeah. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down.
Eli has been busy making last minute preparations for the new experiment. Yep. That double slit Greetings, Eli. You ponder, morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just. Oh! It's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? It was never meant to do this in the first place. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. There you go. Uh... Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. Yeah, a lot of stuff seems to be going wrong, and you know who. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Smallsman. Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now. You're overreacting. That's what I do. I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro channel plates. <laughs> Wait, no, Mossman wasn't at Black Mesa. Or was she and just not in the chamber? I don't remember. If she was a Black Mesa, that's her. If she wasn't, that's just a random person. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially from our boy the most G unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Ah, prepare for unforeseen consequences. <sighs> testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Activating now. Uh, Gordon, 
We cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. Let someone say, someone get him out of there. doesn't shoot you through Zen or anything. Oh, yeah it does. We go. actually bend correctly. Wait, can I set it on fire? No, I cannot. Okay. Schrodinger's cat is alive. <laughs> Schrodinger's Gordon. cat. Thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. Uh. My God, what have we done? Fascinating. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? Yep. Kleiner or the heck crab. So Eli's a higher rank, I guess, because we needed him for the... Get all Half Life One scientist activities. I don't know why Broden just crouched, dog.
Hi, can you burn to death? Maybe? Thank you. I wonder if they still have the, like, you know, play backwards of, like, kill me and such that they do in Half-Life 2. Uh-oh, Mr. Krabby Crab. Yeah, hi, where is he? Yep, there he is. Hey, man. You know what you should do? You should come over here and... Actually, pardon. Hey man, once again, oh, he doesn't even, he's not even interested in me, he just wants to die. Yep, we stay crouching, we do not stand. Bro, he was in that laser for like, okay, you know. By the way, let me, let me, I, since I gotta specify, when I get like this, don't worry, I'm enjoying the game, okay? Before anyone thinks that I'm like, unnecessary, no, it's fine. I'm not, like, dude, this stuff doesn't actually bother me. Um, there's another brain. Brain is remarkably intact. Uh, let's see. Can't get through there. Can I crouch through here? Yes, I can. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna say you're gonna die. I hate to be that guy, but... Yep. Oh! Is that a skull with a spinal cord that I can actually see from here? I believe it is. Ooh, seat energy. Bunch of bodies and such. Wow, it went like... Did it actually just squish into the ground, or is there another hole I can go further down? Oh! Gordon? Gordon. Hey, man. Man, am I glad to see you. man, would I be glad if I could get off this ladder? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Uh, because they're scientists. Yeah, it kind of nommed on his head a bit. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna need you to, uh, come with me, dog. I don't even have a crowbar yet. Oh. Oh. Back up! Shoot them. Okay, they have a little bit of a death animation. Very nicely made overall. Got no complaints. Hey man, get that one. Get that one. To your left. That one. There we go. Yeah, he's watching. Definitely a lot creepier just because, you know. You know, how it looks. Are so you gonna get him? Nice, dog. Come here. No, 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 come with me. All right, let's move. Come with. Come hither. Let me get out of your way. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Fine, I'll just go by myself. This place is in bad shape. Oh, there he is. I love how they just replicate the deadpan delivery. Shit. 
shit is something out of a sci-fi Oh, he said a potty word. Yep, don't worry, Doc will be careful in here. That's one. Got another one. I appreciate they let you fight back even before you get a crossbow, because realistically, I mean, yeah, set them on fire if you're able to. Lights are off as they should be. Oh. Get out of there. Oh, wait. Yeah, bro, I'm metal, huh? someone to meet us here or something. Oh, sorry. Okay, Dodge. Grab what you gotta grab, but don't dawdle. Oh, cool. I don't know what I just grabbed, but... I appreciate that line My of bad. dialogue. Burn, baby, burn! How long do flares last? They weren't infinite in uh, episode one. All right, man. I think you're so. I'm gonna say. Got another one. Thank you. I love the flares. I I just got a I'd say you deserve it. Okay, I'm gonna try to call for help. You gotta get to the admin office upstairs. There's got to be somebody there who can fix this. Okay, I'm in. Anybody? This is Sector C, anomalous materials. We have an emergency situation here. I repeat, we have a code red emergency situation. Possible bio. Burn! Burn, little crab! Burn! Oh, he's getting charred. Yep. Inflammatory actions. Gonna say, I'm actually curious, what is that exactly? Ruin the microwave, pass toilet paper, kill a head crab using fire. Okay. Now I wonder how our boy Barney's doing. That was a scientist in the original. I know because I watched a video on saving all the scientists in Half-Life. Well, he said get to the admin office. Obviously there is no tram or any such to be had here. And this is not blue shift. We can't get over and follow the rail. He's still trying to reach help. Okay. Get in through there. I think I. Wait, wait, wait. I remember how you got in this room originally. Hold up. How long have we been recording? 40 minutes? Alright. You can go a bit longer. Yeah. 
Yeah, we definitely had the crowbar by now in the original, but this isn't the original, so... Burn, baby, burn! Burn! Toasty! Another one, yeah. Does he actually get converted in this game? To a zombie in front of us? Burn. Test me. Get down. Oh, okay. Great ragdoll. Yeah, I shouldn't have wasted that ammo, I'm aware. Okay, however, consider the following. How do I ADS? Because I know you can ADS in this game. Obviously, I know you couldn't in the original, but... Alright, fine. Then we'll just go without. If I don't figure it out, I don't figure it out. Isn't that how you got through this in the original? Okay. They're adding in bits of Half-Life 2 type stuff and everything. That's very admirable. And it's fitting in naturally. So far. Burn! Sit back and burn. That uh, is dead. Oh, not fun. For those involved in this area. Yep, nope, not paying attention to all of that. Oh, I could have gotten in through there. Alright. I could not have. My bet. Appreciate the, you know, sprint animations. You know what? got a phone notification. It is Spotify. I don't know what Spotify could be notifying me for, uh, but... Yep. Bar very fast in this game. Wow, truly a bro moment in the way this second guy died. That is just unfortunate, is it not? I mean, like, wow, that is that is truly. And I, they, I'm glad they fixed it because there's no way event would be that low to the ground, <laughs> or like in that particular area it was before. Oh, there's an eyeball. I want it. Give. There we go.
Alright. Yeah, truly unfortunate, though. Bro did quite a spectacular backflip to end up in that position, though. Yeah, they're basically just... These might actually be the Half-Life 2 models, honestly. Actually, wait, hold up a minute. Oh, all the gore bits are gone. And yes. Yes, I was. Go ahead, ask. The answer is yes, I was going to. I'm gonna say, start picking me up, dog. Oh, why? You take... Take so much. Okay, there's our boy G-Man. Hold up, alright, I need to actually stop or I'm gonna keep playing for like 20 years. Alright everybody, that was Black Base <laughs> episode 1. And you know, I seem unaffected, but I am enjoying myself. I do appreciate the ways which they've modernized things. Everything still seems very familiar and, you know, but they added in stuff that is nice to have. It, it's just good. I appreciate it. I know you can see the game glitching out every like couple of seconds there on the pause screen, uh, but yeah, that was good. I do look forward to playing the rest of this. I'm not going to act like I'm, you know, blown away my, you know, there's nothing that's happened in this game so far that's made me go like, okay, 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 you know, it, it's been fun though. I do appreciate it as a remake and the amount of effort that they put into it, and I do look forward to getting through the rest of it. So I will see you guys. Bye.